السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today we'll be talking about the lighting control as part of our Kinetics Advanced Course. <coughs> Most of the chapter will be done in the practical part, so we'll only here cover the theory part. But we'll do most of the exercises mentioned here in the practical part, and which is the most important part is the practical part. Okay, this chapter will have two questions in the theory exam, and our question bank will have 20 questions in our question banks. Okay, the idea about this chapter is talking about how controlling light will allow me to save more energy. So it will talk about how to control the light in my uh, house, in my office, in my uh, apartment to reach more energy. So the idea that low artificial lighting level, okay, how to make sure that the light emitted from my lamp is low as possible while keeping the light in the office or in the building as good or, or convenient as possible, okay? So the idea that I should be using the external light as well. So if I have here the lower light, low, low artificial lighting level, okay? So I can get then use less energy. And since this light is emitting also heat, then I'm losing uh, or not wasting heat which also will allow me to save more energy. Okay, this is the idea, okay? I can also allow compliance to control this level of light coming from the building. So if lights are down, and if blinds are down, then lights coming to the office is less and vice versa. And we reach this by something called constant lighting. So by constant lighting, I am achieving, I want to achieve a specific amount of light reflected on my desk okay in, in this case 500 lux okay this light intensity this will be done part via the existing light the daylight coming from the window from the sun and then i will compensate the rest by the artificial light coming from the lamp in here so the idea that if the light coming from the sun is low is less then i put more intense light in my office so I get the 500 lux, but if the light coming from outside is high, the intensity is high, then I can dim the, my lights in the office a little bit lower. At the end, I need to reach this constant lighting, and this is the option uh, or the concept of constant lighting, okay? So this is the option, that this is the concept. The concept is to reach a constant lighting on a specific uh, office or a specific surface, okay? How? This can be done as a principle. So the principle is, is the required level of internal light as constant as possible. Okay. And then it's talking about the closed rule because I will have to take to take this control via one way of controlling or feedback. So we have two standards, something called the closed loop, something called open loop. Okay. Open loop and closed loop lighting control system are based on the modulation of the lighting level inside the room by the measurement of either the level of external light dependent variable or the measurement of feedback which is dependent variable so let's say it in a very simple way i want to control or to measure the light inside my office okay light inside my office is affected by two things the dim dimmable light the artificial light and the daylight okay the light coming from the sun okay if i'm measuring the daylight from the sun from outside the building and depending on this, I'm controlling the dimming. Okay, so dimming is being controlled by the level of the sun coming from outside the building. This is what we call open loop. Why it's an open loop? Because I, that dimmable light, okay, is not a factor in that light coming from the building. The, the daylight, the, the sun light is independent in my calculation. I can control it and it's not controlled. However, if I'm putting my sensor inside the room, then inside the room, it's a combination of the daylight plus the dimmable light. And I still need to control the dimmable light. So the dimmable light is measured and also need to be controlled. So here I say that it is an independent, independent uh, and a dependent variable, okay? Because I want to control it and it's also measured and fed back. And this is what I call closed loop. And the control of either is different in the way the system will work okay and this is by the way is not our concern because this will be done via specific devices okay we'll do this inshallah in our uh, practical part 
here you need just to know the concept for the exam and for you and by the way this kind of control is being almost most of the time being done by light engineers so it is more complicated than it looks because it's being done by light engineers who are specific, who are consultants and experts in this part okay in the constant lighting control so a close tip control will be implemented in here okay i want to achieve a required level of brightness okay and then i measure the level of brightness i have and then i feed it back again then i have a control variable which is i i reach it to the actuator and then the actuator starts dimming up or dimming down based, based on my measurement so you can see here that the w is the reference variable this is the set point this is the uh, the level i need to reach okay and then i'm getting read uh, readings from the dimming itself okay and from the light inside they are fit together to the controller and going again inside okay so this is what we call closed loop type closed loop control this we don't need to know just at least we know the the abbreviation so we have many ways of sending variables to reach the goal that i want okay so one is proportional integral differential or two step two step is mostly open and close but the other three are ways on how to deal with the variable coming to me in the equation to reach the desired brightness I need, okay? This we don't need to play with, this we don't need to memorize, just remember that sometimes they call it SPID, so it's the proportional integral differential, okay? So I think in case here, something called the integral reset. Integral reset meaning what? The switch is turned off, okay? And now I need to control it. So the behavior will be, it will be turned on, okay? And then, through constant dimming, okay? I'm sending ups and downs to reach my goal. So as an example, when I turn it on, it was 200 lux. And I want to reach 500 lux. So I'm increasing the lux by, let's say 50 lux. And then I keep increasing, keep increasing, keep increasing until I reach 500 lux. And then if any changes happen, okay, like the sun is going down, okay, so it means that the external light is getting, is being less. Then I will see that the, my variables are changing. Then I'm increasing a little bit the light again to make sure that's always 500 lux, okay? But in other case, if the light is already switched on, but control is not activated, so once I activate the controlling, then the dimming part will take up and down, oscillating the dimming part to reach my desired brightness, okay? This is simply what we call BID or closed loop control to reach constant lighting. What the kind of devices I can use to reach its, uh, constant lighting in my KNX project? As you can guess, I have an actuator. The kind of actuator is to be a dimming actuator with relative dimming, 4 bits, and absolute dimming, 8 bits, okay? I need a sensor as well. Sensor should be a high frequency, high resolution sensor, okay? And some sensors even have the ability to read the feedback and to, to take this kind of calculations internally in, in the sensor themselves, okay? And the controller, the controller is the one that will make the equations and uh, calculate the variable in different point, which will be sent again to the actuator. So the sensor is giving me data to the controller and the controller is taking this data to the actuator plus the feedback because it's a closed loop uh, control. Okay. So for the sensor, I need a sensor with uh, value resolution in the sensor that can be adapted reading the lights, not coming from the lamp, but also from the surface. Okay with an adaptive, uh, adapted head so I can change the angle a little bit to make sure that I'm reading the light light reflection. If I need an actuator, it should be a dimmable act actuator with 4-bit or 8-bit reset. I should be able to be dim it up or down using or within specific timing. Okay? And the higher the resolution or the dimming steps is the better for the uh, dimmer. Okay? This is the idea. The setup is very simple. I have uh, the lamp somewhere. And then I have the sensor. This is the lamp. Sensor should be put something like that, not like that, because it shouldn't it shouldn't have direct access to the light coming from the lamp, so it's not affected by this. So this is the right way. This is the wrong way, which is the same here. So this is the right way. Okay. This is the wrong way. Okay. So and then with the controller, you have the kind of calibrated value. You'll be able to reach the goal that you have. Okay. Now we are moving to the Daily light. Daily light, daily is addressable lights, which is a standard that's as old maybe as Ken X. Okay. This standard was uh, initiated in Europe 
uh, with the idea that you have many lights, many dimmable lights, okay? We call it blast, blast, or ECG, electronic controlled gear, okay? Those blasts can be installed together on single bus. However, I can still access or send a command to each lamp or each blast or each ECG individually. So they are addressable or accessible lighting, okay? Some abbreviations say addressable lighting, okay? But in the daily light, in the daily, when it was initiated, it was a pure master slave bus, okay? Only one line I can have. On this line, I can have up to 64 lamp or ECG or subscriber, and they can divide those lamps, put them in maximum 16 groups. Okay, so I can say that I have 64 lamps, then six, the first six lamps will be on group one, then lamp number seven, eight, and 10, uh, might be on group two, and then I can send the commands to the individual lamps or to specific groups in the lamp, okay? Central control is also possible using broadcast, so I can send the control to all the lamps on daily system. Let's say all should be on, all should, all should be off. This is independent of KNX, that was a daily system by itself, okay? It was used for lighting, independent, exclusive, so no sensors were introduced or anything else. Dimmable, maximum, consumption bare lamp is 2 milliampere okay and this is the bus transmission rate and this is the volt okay then after that we have another thing called daily 2 daily 2 is an improvement of daily 1 so now i can have multi master okay and they can also have sensors also on my activation so in daily 2 i can have multi master it's not uh, a pure master and a slave installation anyway anymore I can have also, I have 64 glass or ECG groups, the same as DALI 1, but I can also put sensors or buttons on my DALI system. So it's not only lighting anymore, okay? And then they have a standard called DALI 2, and then this is the one that I'm using. Top. How to control DALI by itself? We found in Kinex that DALI itself is a very good, uh, let's say, protocol or standard for lighting because it allows me to have one bus, okay? Imagine we have one bus, and then lamps are on this bus. And still I can address the lamp individually. Instead of having a line and neutral from each lamp, I have only one bus going there, and then I can address specifically address each one individu uh, independently. And this will be done in the uh, practical part. So in the practical part, we'll be doing the constant lighting and the daily lighting in a very intensive way. A lot of practice on that. How to connect the daily, daily with your bus? Okay, we have two ways, three ways. Using a delegate way, this is the one that we'll be using in our practical part. Delegate way will allow me, because it's a different protocol, to access all the bus via a delegate, a delegate way device. So the delegate gateway device will have here a KNX bus system, and then here connected to the DALI itself. And then I can have group addresses from the DALI system to address the ECGs individually, to address the groups, to make a broadcast if I want, so I can control all the lamps individually or via groups or via broadcast, send them a data, let's say go 50%, go 20%, or go all on or go, go, go all off. So I have full control on the daily system I have, okay? This is the best way to do to deal with the daily lights because you only have one device from KNX system to control everything. You can still use a daily actuator, but in this case, every lamp will go to a channel here, so daily actuator will have be like, like the normal dimming actuator, okay? But here is a zero to 10 uh, control. It mostly eight channel, uh, uh, 12 channels, 16 channels, something like that, okay? In this case, I can also uh, broadcast commands which I said value are used. Or I can see a daily lighting control like a sensor or something from the daily power. In this case, I don't care. It's the sensor from KNX or sensor from daily because both I can use to control the daily lights, okay? This is how the daily uh, gateway configuration look like. Okay, most of it comes with one channel or two channels. Each channel will have 64 uh, ECG, and then you can access each channel individually. And this will be done in our practical part, inshallah, Rabbil Alameen, okay? This is mostly the daily uh, and the constant lighting. What I need to know, I need to know the difference between the daily one and daily two, how to control daily lights, and how to make scenario for the uh, constant lighting as well. Okay, now, now we're done with the lighting chapter. Uh, if you have any question, let me know and see you inshallah in the next chapter or the practical part. Assalamu alaikum.